Incoming email. What you want to know? Craig's Corner. <laughs> Hey, welcome to Craig's Corner for Friday, September 28th, 2012. We've got a follow-up question from a user named Chris. Wanted to know about one of our previous episodes. We had talked a little bit about um, our product comparison tool and where you could go in order to compare our, our different uh, devices and products and features and that kind of stuff. And his extension of that was, do we have any good resources for uh, how to learn how to use a PA and how to do recording and you know all that kind of stuff? Because uh, we do quite often get questions that are not really related to our products, they're more general, how do I run a PA, how do I make a recording, and it's quite tough for us to be able to tackle all of those things, it's quite an enormous subject to deal with. So I thought I would give you a couple of the places that um, our tech support guys have had some experience with that have helped them a lot, and also some of the experiences that I've had uh, working in a recording studio for a few years. So first one being, uh, Eric from Support had uh, suggested the Yorkville PA Basics Manual. Uh, it's a really good detailed little booklet about how PAs work, what an equalizer is, what impedance is, what mic polar patterns are, uh, all that kind of stuff. You know, really good uh, description of what faders are and channels and, and busing and that kind of stuff. So I will put up a, a little link here, um, annotated I guess, and I'll, I'll put it in the, the notes as well. But uh, there we go, some sort of link about uh, the Yorkville one. It's a really good guide. Uh, when it comes to the recording side of things, the best resource I ever use for uh, particular DAW software is going to be YouTube. Uh, there are tons and tons and tons of links. Of, you know, if you're using Ableton or Reaper or Pro Tools or Logic or Cubase or Digital Performer, or any of those kinds of things, just search for those in Google. You will likely be able to find you know, tutorial upon tutorial of how to set up inputs and outputs and all that. And obviously, the whole RTFM, which I can't actually spell out for you, but you know what it means. Read the manual uh, for your, your device. Um, and then for me, I actually picked up a series of books by a guy named Bobby Ozinski, um, who put out some really great guides that they actually use in some of the recording schools around, uh, around the U.S., uh, places like Full Sail and that kind of stuff. Uh, he created um, the Recording Engineer's Handbook, the Mastering Engineer's Handbook, the Mixing Engineer's Handbook. Um, there's actually also a, a bunch of great books that are uh, are out there um, from his series that, that even tell you how to be in a band, how to mix yourselves properly, how to rehearse, um, you know, how to produce music, all sorts of stuff like that. And I found them really handy, and I use them both as a, a, a you know a full read-through type book, and also as a reference guide when I've, I've got somebody, say, coming into the studio and they've got an instrument that I haven't really had a lot of experience recording, I'll look in the books and try and reference a few techniques and try a few out and see if I can find the sound that I'm looking for you know with the guidance of a book so uh, here's some links to uh, Bobby Ozinski's page and uh, you might be able to find some good resources there um, you know essentially you need to spend some time learning how to use the gear itself. You know, especially our processors. They some of them can be really super, super simple. You get them going, push one button. Other ones, they're simple to start, but they're really deep, so they take a lot of knowledge to to really go deep into them and tweak everything. So really, do yourself the favor of spending the time, invest the time in learning how basic PA systems work, how basic computer recording works with an interface, without USB, not USB inserts, all that kind of stuff, and educate yourself a little bit about um, you know how how recording has has worked in the past and, and will work in the future and you know that way you can end up with a really solid knowledge of not only how our product can fit into a system but how that system works in general so a little bit lengthy on this one and uh, and I know it's kind of funny to give an informational video where I just tell you to go out and learn other things but really it, it'll be impossible for me to ever cover all of the facets of all of the gear that's out there so uh, good luck on your hunts and uh, hopefully you can search out the information you're looking for